How many people here work somewhere but really want to have their own business or hustle? Raise your hands. A lot. Everybody's getting a job. They're getting into the eight hour a day grind. Everybody's doing it. They, you know, you're either a chemist, you're a doctor, you're a lawyer, you're a shipping clerk. You're doing some dumb thing over and over and over again. You get caught into the stricture of what you're supposed to be and you have no other choice. You're finally molded and molded into what you're supposed to be. I didn't like this. So I decided I'd rather starve, live on the edges of nowhere, than do anything at all, than become anything labeled. We don't have to have fast food workers. We don't, we, we don't have to have people who work sh jobs. We don't have to. We just need to figure out how to restructure society so everybody somehow or another plays a part, has something to contribute, has something to share. I mean, that's what a real society is supposed to be like. We got sidetracked and diverted into these boxes that they call companies and corporations. And we got stuck into these containers that they go cubicles or offices. And we got forced into this system. So our time, instead of it being invested in making pottery or, or fixing cars or doing something where you have a, a passion or you have some sort of a connection to, instead of that, you've sold your life to sit in a box and work for a machine, an uncaring machine that demands productivity. If you live for the weekends, your shit is broken. Look, if your best moment is Friday afternoon, that means you hate your Monday through Friday. And people get mad at me again because they're like, Gary, when I look forward to the weekends, I love my family, it's not all about money, you're such an asshole, it's family. I'm like, no, 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 you're not listening. Do you understand that most people think they need to make a million dollars a year to be like winning? Meanwhile, in America, one of the richest countries in the world, $440,000 is the entry into the 1%. We have, we have success completely, completely misunderstood. We have success completely misunderstood. Let me tell you what success looks like. When you wake up in the morning and you're happy. Your gift will make room for you. Now what is your gift? It's the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your gift. Quit running away from the gift. Your gift will make room for you. Stop trying to be something you ain't gifted at. Nobody asked you to go down here and study to be a dentist and you ain't really good at that. Listen to me. All of you have this gift. Identify it. It's the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's what you should be doing. Maybe you're here because you need to hear this here. Maybe you're here because you need to dust off your dreams. Maybe you need to explore your imagination. Maybe you just need to identify your gift so you can quit tripping in your own life trying to figure out what you can do when God already planted inside you a long time ago.